find out what Graphic Metal's top pick for best album overall across all the subgenres of metal for the month of March 2024. No. Next. No. No. This is beautiful. This is. Metalheads, welcome to Graphic Metal, where metal is celebrated with design in mind. And on this episode, we're giving you our picks for the best albums within the alt-industrial punk experimental scene in the month of March 2024. And it just happens to be that for this, for the month of March, the best overall of all the subgenres albums just happens to be in this subgenre this time around. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. Before we reveal the number one, though, you know what it is. Some honorable mentions, some other randoms, because there are a couple albums I forgot to, to, to add in some of the other subgenres, and then one that was from actually February. So let's get to it. Social Grace by Brat, a groove slash death hardcore album released on March 15th. I forgot to add this one in albums to, to you know, potentially check out in the, the groove and uh, thrash uh, episode. So adding this here, not to be confused with the Brat, the punk band from the 70s. This is Brat, the brand new uh, band from New Orleans this is their debut. It's interesting to check out. I don't know where they're getting their connections from, but they definitely uh, such a for such a, a a fresh new brand a band. They have a lot of publicity and attention already. I, I don't know where that's coming from or yeah, but nonetheless, it's interesting. I'll take Groove wherever I can get it. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's got they got the right energy and attitude where they could be some a band to, to, to keep an eye out. Uh, they also have really interesting videos, so worth, they're entertaining, right? So give them that. Nel Noam Del Codis by Keegan Church. It's an industrial synth instrumental album released on March 22nd. It's okay. Personally, would highly prefer like a Carpenter Brute over this. People seem to like it. Worth a shot, but to me, I find it way too repetitive. Whip it around! Big Dumb Riffs by Rickshaw Billy's Burger Patrol, an alt new metal album released on March 22nd. Well, you can't say they didn't choose their band name wisely. It may be big and dumb, but at times they can bring some solid humor, like overlaid, some solid good riffs. It's like Limp Biscuit but with death clock humor and packaged as if it was South Park. It's not great, but some songs can be worth like a chuckle and some corn style riffs. Graphic Metal Rating gives it a 66. <laughs> See You Tomorrow, Baby, by Weston Super Mame, a technical, progish, experimental metal album released on March 15th. I may not always like what I hear, but respect for creativity, love the album title, the album cover is interesting for sure. Can't say I necessarily love it, but it is definitely creative, and I always support that. Uh, everything else from everything, it, it, the music across the board, it's just it's a unique type of album, and because of that, uh, I think it's worth at least a listen to see 
what kind of feelings you have with it. Similar artists to kind of wrap your head around is Mashuga meets Car Bomb meets Atari Teenage Riot. Graphic Metal Rating gives it a 72. <laughs> What a fucking nightmare by The Chisel. It's a hardcore punk album that was released in February 9th. Shame on me. They were albums that I just had a hard time where to place them. And at the time, I was focused on other things. But nonetheless, old school to the bone. Hybrid between the raw intensity of a Dead Kennedys and the fun Irish energy of Dropkick Murphys. This is their sophomore release coming via London, UK. These blokes got the right mindset, approach, and skill to make true punk great again. And here's hoping that they do. Graphic Metal Rating gives it an 86. For graphic Metal's top pick for best album overall across all the subgenres of metal for the month of March 2024. Hopium for the Masses by Ministry, an industrial metal album released on March 1st. You never really know what you're gonna get with Al Jorgensen. Real quick, in case you are not familiar, familiar with him, he is arguably the pioneer of the genre of, uh, uh, in, of industrial metal, which can be, of course, naturally argued, <clears throat> killing joke, but he is a legend in his space. He's been doing this since 81, coming via Chicago, Illinois, and I want to say this is album 16. <laughs> might just be my favorite for a few reasons. They have had many great album names and covers over the years, but this one takes the cake. Love everything about it from the title, how it's arranged, and even how it's laid out. The cover is fucking brilliant. At first, I wanted to nitpick the like filtration you know, distortion on the, the figure or the placement of some of the mushies. But the more that I spend time with it, I determined that everything works great because it's perfect for both small and large scale. I also love the like overall vibe, energy, and consistency of the branding from the title, cover, songs, lyrics, everything, you name it. Another thing that I love is musically it represents like his entire career in a snapshot. It has everything he's done over the years, but it doubles down on the particular style that has always been my personal favorite of his, which is like that groove industrial metal, more accessible uh, side of him. Sometimes I like to call it the white zombie version, but obviously Ale influenced Rob. So then it's a classic, you know, fashion of ending up back where you belonged. And it's just, it's just ministry. <laughs> and at last but not least, unlike his, the other albums, this baby is beautiful. I, I mean, okay, maybe not quote unquote, pretty given the dark and political nature to it because make no mistake about it al loves to be to have his political commentary into the mix and this one's no different but it's i don't know if he's ever written this many accessible songs still is heavy but it's it's it i think it you can relate to it the average casual listener if you're not really paying much attention to the lyrics every damn track 
is good. The only possible negative that I could possibly think of is I wish that there was maybe one faster pace song, preferably at the end, because at the end, the last few tracks are, which I love the experimentation of it. I love how it actually ends. And even the last, the last uh, song, Ricky's Hand, and all its KMFDM inspired glory. But yeah, I just, I wish that maybe there was, because the album does kind of lack um, a little bit of the like thrasher, faster pace, speed of things. But other than that, it's amazing. It's bold to claim the 16th album in a man's career as his best, especially when there are albums like the the mind is a terrible thing to taste palms uh, 69 filthy pig rio grande blood uh, okay fine fine i'll i'll just say top five okay over and out graphic mail already gives it a 94 and that was the list check back very soon for the other subgenres of both rock and metal until the next time Cheers and keep on rocking. You get the picture?